Welcome back everybody, we are back for another tutorial, although this one might be slightly different than the others. Anyway, in today's video we are going to design this landing page with an interesting scroll effect. As you already know, we just start with a blank page with just a simple nav bar. Here you can see I've already prepared all the assets, and I will leave it to you in the Figma file. So let's first take two of the three cans and put them on the frame by rotating them a little bit. Next, let's add the heading. get that outline effect, put the text behind, make a copy of it, and place it in front. Add a stroke the same color as the fill, change its thickness to 5 and its mode to inside, then delete it. We can now complete this part with the pre-created assets. And don't worry, as I told you, all those assets will be accessible in the asset files. Let's continue. Create a rectangle with a width of 389 and a height 18 of don't forget to round the corner. We can also take this preset color and choose the top one as a fill color and the middle one as a stroke. As from now, add your text to complete this part. Take the rectangle you just created and make a copy. Change its fill to the bottom one and change its length as you want. You can now make as many copies as you want and customize them. Same goes for this part, just make a circle to which you deleted the fill and add an inside stroke with the same orange color. Now that we are done with the first frame, adjust it as you would like. But just for later, take that third and add it as I do. We can create a second frame and customize it again as you please. But for the sliding effect first, create a rectangle where your text will be placed. Take your three texts, make a group next, place it over the rectangle, and make a mass group that way only one paragraph will be shown at time. Create your three titles, customize them. And do the same process you did for the description text. Copy one of the rectangles you created back then and paste it on the second frame. In this one we will show how much bottle is left.
Open the Iconify plugin and add a next icon in place as I do. Copy it and flip it is using Shift HL. Take the two bottles of the first frame and copy them. Make sure they are aligned and the same size. Once you are done that, place them outside of the frame. Now it's time to set up the prototype part. Place the second frame in the second frame and put its eye axis to around 1080, but make sure the third can is above it. and make two copies of this frame. On the first one, drag everything out as you like and put their pass through to zero. Except for the rectangle where its pass through will be at 50 and slide the orange part all the way to the left. On the second frame we won't do much, just make a few changes on the second page. As for the third, just slightly drag the element up just to give that half scroll effect. Then take the second page and drag it on top of the frame just like so. And now align the third can and make sure it is roughly the same size as the other cans. make a copy of this page and drag the can off the screen and place another of. Don't forget to modify the description text group, the number of bottle and the name too. Or make a second copy and do the same for the third can. Soda typing will be quick. Link the very first page to the second with an after delay and copy my setting. Link the shop now button to the third page with those settings. And lastly, link every next button to the next page and every previous button with the previous page. And there you go.